Hey guys, this is Golem Gear Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5 using Red Snow. You can download it in the description. So the first thing you want to do is open Red Snow and click jailbreak and then this will pop up and it will say this device can be jailbroken using either DFU <coughs> RAM disk method or the backup restore method. We're going to be using the DFU RAM disk method because it's the quickest but feel free to do the backup restore method if you'd like i will do another video on how to do the backup restore method I have a link in the description on how to do that so since we are going to be doing the dfu ram disk method we are going to click yes and uh, now it's going to say please make sure your device is both off and plugged in so we are going to uh, turn off our ipod that we're using so now we are free to click next and now it will give you a list of instructions to put your device in DFU mode. So hold down the power button for three seconds. Then we're going to uh, hold down the power and the home button without releasing the power button for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna let go of the power button and hold, keep holding the home button for 15 seconds or until it advances. Alright, so now we'll say processing, and you can let go of the home button. It will exploit it with Lime Rain, upload first stage and second stage. Sometimes you'll get stuck on the second stage. Uh, you just need to leave it, and if it won't advance, that just means you need a faster computer. Alright, so now it will process the kernel, prepare the jailbreak data to be uploaded to your iPod. Okay, now you get this screen. Basically, what we're gonna do here is just have install Cydia and enable battery percentage check. That's the simplest way to go, but if you have custom packages, select the middle one. So we're gonna click next and it will upload the RAM disk. And then it will reboot your device. And now you'll see that you're done with Red Snow and all this text will start popping up on your iPod. You just want to wait all that out until the pineapple pops up. And it will say moving applications. This is gonna take forever, so I'm just gonna cut to after it's done moving the applications. And it will install the bundles and restart. Once it's done restarting, you need to go to Cydia and you can choose user, hacker, developer. This is just basically choosing how much stuff you want to see. Choose developer just so we can see everything. And there's a little description underneath showing you what the options do. So we're going to click developer and then done. And then we're going to wait for our changes to refresh so we can update. And I'll say five essential upgrades. We're going to just upgrade the essential ones for right now so we don't have to do any rebooting or anything because it is tethered. So this way, all we have to do is close out of Cydia and then come back. So we'll let this finish and we're going to tap close Cydia and then we're going to want to reopen Cydia. And it's probably going to crash the first time. Don't worry, just reopen it again. So now we want to go over to search and we're going to search for Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1 on Tether and we're just going to install this. And what this does is it makes your jailbreak untethered Alright, so this is going to install, and then after that's done installing, we can go back to our, all of our changes, and we can upgrade the rest of them the rest of the way. Alright, so now you are set. You have your uh, iOS 5.1.1 jailbreak. Now you can go download tweaks and games and hacks and, well, anything you want to do with your jailbroken device. If you guys have any questions, please go ask them in the description below. Anyway, please drop us a like, and I hope this helped, and I will see you in another video.